Hi guys, today I'm going to talk about uh, the different ways of getting around in the Philippines. Like, whenever I would fly into Manila, Philippines, my girlfriends uh, um, and her friends would always pick me up, so they always had a private car that they just hired. But uh, once you're staying at your hotel and everything, um, your uh, one of your forms of transportation is going to be the jeepney. They look like a station wagon, and uh, in 2016 they were uh, 12 pesos to give you a ride someplace. And then uh, your other form of transportation is a motorbike that has a sidecar on it. And those are twice as much. They're 24 pesos um, to get around with those. And um, like going to like the little neighborhoods like her um, to where my girlfriend lived and stuff to go visit her family and stuff like that. We, we were staying in a hotel. We, uh, there just wasn't enough room for us to, to stay there. But um, uh, if you've never, when you think of cobblestone roads like on TV in the, old, the olden days, Literally, they have them. <laughs> like, those those rocks were just sharp as heck, pointed up like this, and there was a huge gap between each one of them. And I literally thought that we were going to pop the tires on that motorcycle and that sidecar because it was so rough on them and everything. And, uh, I like me, I'm only five foot eight, but, like, that sidecar is so short when you're in there. Like, I had to be hunched over so darn bad because um, my head was just hitting the, the roof of it. They're... Um, they're definitely meant for Filipinos where, uh, you know, the Filipinas, you know, most of them are five feet tall and uh, a taller one is five foot two. But um, yeah, it amazes me how the guys handle it because the Filipino guys, most of them are five foot seven. They're just here shorter than me. But I think most, most of them must just ride on the back of the motorcycle with the driver because uh, um, I, I guess that's how it worked with, um, with my girlfriend's family when I took them all out to, for dinner one time. Oh, it was, was, it was the, the driver on the motorbike. Then uh, my girlfriend's dad, he was 61 or 62 years old. And then her brother-in-law, he was 33. He was on the very back of the motorcycle. And then inside the little sidecar, in the little seat inside of it, my girlfriend and her sister. And then uh, um, her sister's three little kids were in there. Uh, 12, well, I'm trying to think here. Seven years old, five years old, and two years old. And then... Uh, um, her, her sister's uh, sister-in-law uh, was also in there, and she was like 18. So yeah, amazingly, they all fit in there. It's amazing uh, um, how uh, Filipinos can uh, contort everything there. And then um, one other uh, thing of transportation we took, when, um, we took a jeepney out to uh, the Manila Ocean Park. It's like their version of SeaWorld. But when we were done, we actually hopped on a bus, and it looked just like a Greyhound bus except that um, all the seats in it were completely vinyl. Just um, I, I guess they worry about cleanliness and uh, wash it out or else if passengers must get in that are just soaked from the rain or whatever. So, um, But those those are the forms of transportation that I found there. Um, so, uh, all right, take care, you guys.